Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new. For today's video, we'll be showing you how to make this Halloween candy bouquet slash candy vase. So basically what we did was we took an old vase that we had around the house and we put some floral foam into it and stuck these candies in with skewers just to make it look like a flower bouquet except without the flowers but with candy. You get what I mean. So this video is going to be really quick and easy. This is a very quick thing that you can put together especially if you're going out for a party or it's just a last minute gift for someone coming over. So it's just a really simple vase to make with any types of candies that you can find. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first we're going to start off by preparing our candies and chocolates. So the candies that we used were M&M's, Twix bars, Mars bars, Snickers, and some other miscellaneous candies that we picked up at the dollar store. And basically what we did was we took skewers and we stuck them at the back of each of these candies. Now with the M&M's we decided to use the skewers a little higher up just so that it would stick more firmly onto the skewers. And what you want to do is you want to put a little bit of glue onto the skewers. You don't want to overfill the back of the candy with the with glue because we don't want the candies inside of the wrapper to melt. And you also don't want to somehow melt through the, the plastic. So you're just going to put a little bit on the skewer and maybe a little bit at the bottom and the top of the wrapper and that way you're just putting as less glue as possible because we don't want any glue to in some way contaminate the candy. And you're going to do the same thing for the Twix, Snickers, and Mars bars. What we did was the little plastic flap that's on the back of each one of those bars. We glued the skewers onto there. That way it wasn't touching the chocolate in any way. So now we'll be moving on to preparation. So you're going to take some floral foam or any type of styrofoam-ish material that you may have. And as you can see, our piece was really big, so we had to shave it down a little more. We wanted to make sure that it was small enough so that the chocolates can cover the floral foam while still maintaining a strong base. And what we did was our strategy to arrange them was to put the M&Ms on the outside and then move inwards with all the smaller chocolates. Now you can change up the way that you arrange your chocolates depending on the shapes of your chocolates, the size, and the size of your base. It really depends on what chocolates and treats that you're using. But for us, we were using a lot of small mini size treats, so we decided to make sure they look like a nice cohesive bouquet but at the same time not humongous and tall but more shorter and just more full Okay, so now we're going to add those smaller chocolates that I was talking about earlier. And these are just going to act as a cover up for the floral foam because there are some areas that if you looked at it from above you could see some of the floral foam and we didn't want that. So we're just putting these in some of the corners that needed some more sprucing up. And you can substitute this for other types of things. You can substitute it for flowers, you can also stick in some little treats or little tricks types of things so like little mini spiders or skeletons things like that anything to make it really festive and perfect for this time of year and that is the final candy vase completed all we did to add a little decoration to the vase was taking some golden ribbon and tying it around and also making a DIY bow on the front and if you'd like to see how to make this bow, we will be making a tutorial on this for December and stay tuned for that. We think this is really great for that time of year, but for now we're just using it as a nice decorative bow for this piece. Also, this is a great gift for kids who are coming in over before Halloween, also for this Thanksgiving, and it's also really great for centerpieces you can have it as a centerpiece or you can even put it outside for trick-or-treaters it's, it's just really versatile and it's really great 
if you have a vase around the house that needs sprucing up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you've tried making this or anything else from our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos every week. We hope you're enjoying all of the Halloween and fall themed videos this month. It's been really fun making these videos so far. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week and thanks for watching.